Liquid cooling can make your computer faster, quieter, and look awesome. Here's how it works. When your CPU gets hot, instead of cooling it directly with a fan, you add a water block, along with a liquid pump and a radiator. Cold water gets pumped through the tubes and into the water block. The water then absorbs the heat from the CPU. Water has a higher heat capacity than air, so water can absorb a lot more heat before it increases in temperature. The heat is then carried to the radiator, which is extremely efficient at dissipating heat. The fan doesn't have to blow very hard to help cool down the water. This is why liquid-cooled PCs tend to be quieter. Now that the water has cooled down again, it is sent back into the water block and the whole process repeats over and over again. In reality, all the pipes are completely filled and the water moves and mixes so fast that the whole loop reaches a consistent temperature. So why is a radiator so efficient at cooling water? Well, the radiator has many little fins that absorb heat from the water and then dissipate the heat into the air. The more fins your radiator has, the faster it cools down because you have a lot of surface area exposed to the air. It's the same principle as cooling down a hot drink. Crushing ice into little pieces will cool down your drink faster than one big piece of ice. This is because there is more surface area for the heat to transfer faster. So, the more radiators you have and the faster your fans blow, the cooler the water will be. And the cooler the water is, the easier it will be to absorb heat from your components, like your CPU and graphics card, and keep them cool. So now that you know how liquid cooling works, you should already know what parts you need. You need the same parts as a regular PC, plus the liquid cooling components. You need a pump and reservoir, which often come as a combo, radiators, usually one for your CPU and one for your graphics card, fans for the radiators, water blocks for your CPU and graphics card, tubes, which can be hard or flexible, compression fittings to connect the tubes, and liquid. This can be $2 distilled water or something fancy with UV reactive coloring and antimicrobial chemicals. I hope this video was helpful to understand the concept of liquid cooling. To learn how to build a liquid-cooled PC, check out my tutorial video.